So let, let, let me ask you a question. Three to five years time, where do you want to be? And that's where, that's, I think that's what I struggle with because I think I've only literally just learned to find out who I am. So my dream has always been, you know, I live in the countryside in a lovely big pile with dogs and chickens and... But I think that's an, an unrealistic dream. And I'm not sure I do want that. I think that's what I've always... Because I've always sort of craved this peace and... But I know the external well, you, is, isn't going to bring me that But peace. what you're saying is you, you, you want... A level of peace. You don't need yeah. to live in a, in a big country pile to have peace. It might actually be really fucking noisy. Yeah. <laughs> with the windows <laughs> rattling in the wind because you can exactly. lift the house or whatever. But, but what you're saying is you want a level of peace and, and space. I want which, peace. Which, you're I want not, to be... which, which you don't experience when you've got turmoil in relationship and kids, teenage kids making a lot of noise at home. Yeah. So one thing you want is, is peace. It's what, peace. What, what and I want to be... I want to be in a relationship where I'm loved and respected for mm. who I am. Yeah. And I'm not. Yeah. I mean, that's what it feels like to me. That's what it feels like. That that's, feels to me like what your heart is longing for. It is. But I've got so, there's, there's so many other aspects to that because I don't, I don't think anybody would look at me or touch me, you know, go near me with a barge pole because of my own self image issues you know I, I've put on you know I'm three stone heavier than I was when I got married I'm you know I'm not exactly a looker you know I just I but do you, do you think how someone looks physically is the most important thing in them being loved and adored I think it helps how much do you think it helps quite honestly because I know a lot of people that are beautiful that are really fucking unhappy. And I know a lot of people which are not necessarily ugly, but their aesthetics is not the most important thing in their life, but have a great deal of love. Yeah. And that's where, you know, I have a problem, I suppose, because I've always had this ideal perfectionist, you know, and kind of outlook and... And I'm, and I'm because, probably put too much. Because <clears throat> I think you're, you know, we, we spoke a few sessions ago about this idealized self, like this person that you believe you need to be to be loved and to be yeah. successful. And that idealized self, for most of us, is an impossible image that we can never really a achieve. The truth is, what you want is you want to feel loved and you want to feel respected and you want to feel valued and you want to feel adored by someone. Yeah. And if you are loved and adored because you've got your perfect figure and because you've got your perfect job, it's not, you're not actually loved and adored. It's not because of that. It's not. I don't think that I would be loved and adored because I've got those things. But I think that helps to kind of get the ball rolling. <laughs> well, I do. I mean, I think that's just life. That's human beings, isn't it? I think it plays a role, but I think it doesn't play as much of a role as people often think it does. Because I think what people are truly attracted to is not necessarily yes the yes the packaging is 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 part of it, but what people are really attracted to is how someone makes them feel. Yeah. And the way to make someone feel good is to feel good. Yeah. The better your relationship is with yourself, the more loving you are of yourself, the more easy you are with yourself the more you find joy in the simple things in your life, the more people will want to be around you. 